photographs of the inaugural proceedings were intentionally framed in a way to minimize the enormous support that had gathered on the National Mall. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back. I can sense the love in the room. Yes, I believe that we have to be honest with the American people. I think sometimes we can disagree with the facts. I mean, just the other day, he sat down with Martin Luther King Jr. I would call him a civil rights leader. So where his dad was the, the civil third. rights leader. Well, I, I, I think that... You get one more. Let's not agree. That's a ridiculous... You're basically... Okay, Kristen, we're going to end this right there. Hunter, 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 no. And then this one is the... I've got the 13 here as well, or the 2017. It is literally 100% the same. Well, first of all, it's not a travel ban. I mean, he's using the, the words that the media is using. But at the end of the day, it can't, hold on, hold on, hold on. It can't be, it can't be. The president himself called it a ban. I understand. Is he confused or are you confused? No, I'm not confused. I think, I don't, I mean, that's the silliest thing I've ever heard. Okay, I'm, this is silly. Okay, next. And I, okay, you don't get to just yell out questions. We're going to raise our hand like big boys and girls. This is government. This is not. Um, and I think that part of the reason the visual is important is that when you actually look at the difference, you realize this is what big government does. I was so, going to say, you're, upside down. Down. So, <laughs> your pants upside down. John Roberts always helping with the fashion tips. It's still upside you down. Wanna, like, don't make me make the podium move. Um, <laughs> I, I, I cover the stuff. No, no, hold on. No evidence no, of wiretapping at Trump actually, Tower. Now you've had the House Intelligence Committee and the Senate Intelligence Committee. No, no, actually, Committee. here's his quote, Jonathan. No, no, here's the direct quote. I think it's very possible, end quote. When we talked about wiretapping, he meant surveillance. Well, so you're coming to some serious conclusions for a guy that has zero intelligence uh, class. <laughs> 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 if you don't want to answer the question, I can call on somebody call else. On yeah. Times, Thank you. John, does the president still have complete confidence in FBI Director Comey? Uh, there's no reason to believe he doesn't at this time. And, but even General Flynn was, was a volunteer of the campaign. Um, and then obviously there's been this discussion of, of Paul Manafort, who played a very limited role. The White House aware of any contacts between Paul Manafort and Russian operatives or suspected Russian operatives? No. Join in more. Uh, well, first, I think your headlines are bad. Uh, I'm glad to rewrite. I I, I wanted, I'd be glad to if you like. If you guys are looking for some help, uh, I, I'm, I'm for a job. <laughs> Does the president stand by his statement that President Obama is a bad or sick guy? I, I think the president's tweets stand for themselves. I think there's there's a huge appetite for tax return tax reform. No, we don't have that. You 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 you've got Russia. If the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection. I'm sorry that that disgusts you. You're shaking your head. I appreciate it, but but I, okay. But understand this: that at some point the facts are what they are, and every single person who has been briefed on this situation, with respect to the the situation with Russia, Republican, Democrat, Obama appointee, career, have all come to the same conclusion. At some point, April, you're gonna have to take no for an answer with respect to whether or not there was collusion. April. Thank you, Sean. How are you today? I'm fine, and how are you? Fantastic. <laughs> the answer is, is that if you gas a baby, if you put a barrel bomb in to innocent people, I think you can enact, you will you will see a response from this president. That is unacceptable. You know, someone as despicable as Hitler, who didn't even sink to the to the to using chemical weapons. There's an opportunity. That, can I just? Uh, <laughs> I think I got this, but thank you. Uh, maybe. All right, thanks, man. I'll see you in a minute. Uh, hold on. One All right, <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Sean. Come on, Sean. 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 What about the Putin call? Sean. Sean. Considering canceling the daily press briefings. I think he's a little dismayed, as well as a lot of people, that uh, we come out here and try to do everything we can to provide you and the American people with what he's doing on their behalf. And yet, we see time and time again an attempt to parse every little word and, and make it more of a game of gotcha, as opposed to really figure out what the policies are, why why something's being pursued, or what the update is on this. And I think that's where there's a lot of dismay, and I don't think it's something that just alone uh, the President feels. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. Hey, Sean, 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 Sean